Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum has so far not given us any clear indication that a low has been made here. Also, only little price action today. It tried to rally after CPI but failed miserably. I think in my last video we saw... Um, yeah, exactly. When I made the last video today, we already saw that rally here and I highlighted to you what needs to happen to give us that fifth wave up here. I showed you a potential micro count and said I think it needs to reach 1869 to give us at least a third wave. Didn't even get there, so it broke down immediately. So again, the yellow wave count is not the leading one and not the preferred one until we really see five waves up. Then we can look for a three wave pullback. And if we get the three wave pullback, we have a trade setup for higher. Without five waves up, you know that we cannot confirm that a low has been made here in the trend reversal area in the yellow box between 1830 and 1780. That is why I still focus on the white wave count. Um, the only thing is that the move down currently is not impulsive. So I also haven't got any clear indication that the C wave has started. So we're hanging a little bit in the, um, in the middle of um, nowhere really. Yeah, and hopefully tomorrow we get a little bit more clarity. Ultimately, what you need to understand is that we can still get a fifth wave as long price does not sustain below 1850. Now, I, it seems to start to sustain below 1850. Again, that's a little bit of a subjective term, sustain below. Um, we are now again below 1850. The 1850 level is the 50% retracement level. Again, it's only one to two dollars below at the moment, but it's hovering there. So I'm losing, I'm losing um, faith that it can give us that fifth wave here. Again, it's anyway not the preferred wave count. It could still work as a diagonal, yeah. It could still work as a diagonal, but that is why I said I take this chart of the, <laughs> not I take the chart of the count. I take the count of the chart um, if price breaks below 18, 17, 18, 18. That's the 78.6 FIP level. So in a diagonal, potentially, this could still move higher. But below 18, 18, the downside momentum should clearly continue to increase. From that point of view, no change. We're still waiting for clarity. Better bottoming structure than Bitcoin, absolutely, because it made that last low. That is what Bitcoin didn't do and that is what makes the Bitcoin bottoming structure rather ugly and unclear. Therefore, I'd be more happy for Ethereum or I, I like Ethereum's bottoming structure more, which is why I would be, let's say, quite open to the idea that Ethereum could have already formed the low. But the problem is now that it seems to fail to create five waves. Yeah, we had a situation several times here when price rallied here, three waves. This was corrective, this was corrective, but the only difference now is that price broke above the um, trend line. So as long as it's holding 1818, it can still push higher in possibly a diagonal structure. But let's see, I mean, that would also need additional proof. Again, I'm very open to the idea that it could have bottomed, but it seems to get less and like less likely that it's going to do it as an impulse. Unless it goes up, um, Basically now, I don't think it's going to do an impulse, which will then make it again very complicated and ugly and not very straightforward. But hey, this is absolutely what, it, what I've been telling you for many, 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 many weeks. The move to the upside will be a rocky road. Um, everybody who's been watching these videos for the last few weeks and months knows that I've been talking about this journey to the upside to be a rocky road. And oh dear, it is a rocky road, right? It's not easy, it's not straightforward, it's not as easy anymore as it has been in previous rallies. Um, especially if you look at the altcoins, they're all not looking very good. And I think Bitcoin Ethereum, they first need to make another move up before the altcoins really are going to show some significant movement. So yeah, let's see if we get some more price action tomorrow. Today was really boring. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.